Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I am sitting down to do another part of my declutter series. It's been a minute, but I'm trying to jump back into the decluttering over here. I took a brief pause due to um, trying to get other things reorganized or organized in this room, cleaning things up. Um, but in the process of cleaning things up, I realized how much I still need to declutter to even be able to put stuff away where it goes. So yeah, I'm gonna try to pre-film a lot of these declutters and then just kind of space them out a little bit for you guys. I am doing a whole room makeover though, so make sure you guys go check out that series. I'll link the first one up above. Um, uh, the first one actually wasn't too interesting after it was edited. It's just kind of like a little introduction, so you might want to check out some of the other ones uh, to kind of see the progress of things. And hopefully, um, I think the first one's going to be the only one up, but the second one will be coming very soon. Um, but yeah, in the process of all of it, like I mentioned, um, there's just a lot that I'm trying to make room for and decluttering makeup has definitely been helping. So um, I have decluttered some different eyeshadow palettes and um, I went through my blushes, I believe, some other stuff. I still have a lot of, to go. Um, I was going to actually do my highlighters next, but, and I've mentioned it like several times, but I decided to do my single eyeshadows because these are just kind of in the way. They're literally like in three boxes sitting next to my drawers. So I was like, we're gonna do these to get them out of the way. So I don't know, maybe highlighters will come next, I don't know. Um, I do think this is my first video with the new hair that you guys will see. I believe there might actually be another video that you guys see where I don't have this hair and in vlogs I won't have this hair for a little bit but um, I just recently did this you guys can jump over to my Instagram to check it out and to check my makeup look out all makeup deeds are down below and I'm trying to get better at making sure I include the link to my Instagram so you can go there and like check out the full look application and all of that if there is one. I think this was just kind of like a no makeup to makeup transition, but I did post it in my stories and I do save those to highlights, the full makeup look. So yeah, check it out if you're interested. If not, makeup deets are down below. But we're gonna go ahead and dive into the declutter. Um, so this first little batch of them, I will just show you guys. My declutters are kind of like declutter slash makeup collection. Just kind of showing you guys my collection too because I don't get rid of everything. But this group, I've actually been using, dabbling into some of these recently. So I don't think any of them are really going anywhere. Um, I recently tried the Diamond Days liquid eyeshadow. I have like my eyeshadows like this. Um, in here as well with like my single shadows because I use them kind of like single shadows um, as well as some like little eye pencil things. These are the Powerpuff Girls Colourpop ones. I bought the set of them. Um, I absolutely love these. I think they're so pretty. I think they're called their color sticks and I have Mojo Jojo. Um, I think this was him. Yeah, him and then Princess Morbucks, and I love these. I still use these. These are so much fun for the summertime. I love these shades. Um, I don't know, has ColourPop come out with more shadow sticks like this? Because I really like them. What I was saying about this one is I really like this one too. It's from uh, Moira Cosmetics. It's really, really nice. It's super, super shiny and very affordable. I want to get more. I just have such a love-hate relationship with single shadows. I'm a palette girl through and through. I feel like this declutter is going to be a little hard for me because I see single shadows and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. But... Nine times out of ten, I'm not using them. I'm using a palette, and I just stick to the palette. So I've been trying to get better about that, and I have been doing a lot better. That also is a bad thing, because it's going to mean I'm going to want to try to keep all of it, and I just can't. Um, I do have some Stila... What are these called? I don't even remember. Remember, Glitter and Glow liquid eyeshadows. I don't even know if these are any good still. Yeah, it still has some give to it. It's kind of low. I think that would be a good project pan item. This is a new found favorite as well. It's the Dazzle Stick from KVD Beauty. Oh my gosh, guys. It's so good. I'm not going to swatch everything, but it's the one right here. Here, It's 
the shade Hailstorm. It's not as glittery as the Stila one, but the, the Stila one is nice. I feel like those were like the OG like glitter eye products that everybody raved about. Um, but now looking at that one, it's a little chunky. And I absolutely love the payoff I get with this one. In person, you can actually see glitter in it as well, but it's not chunky at all and you cannot feel that on your lids. But I pair this up with looks all the time. It's probably like the only single shadow stick product that I reach for the most, but it's so universal. Like it just works with like everything. Um, so far, everything I've mentioned, I've of course am keeping. I think I'm keeping, like I said, most of this bin right here. Um, I have the three Jelly Mutt Shadows from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I could not sleep on these. These are, of course, from ColourPop as well. Um, but you can kind of see the shades of them. That one's so much fun. I need to play with this more. Um, this is Shock. And then one of them's Lock. Yeah, this one's Lock. It's like a dark blue purple. And then Barrel, which just reminds me of like 90s grunge. It has like a duo duochrome effect to it. It's such a beautiful shade. I love that one. This bin actually holds much of my Jelly Mutt shadows and a lot of them are from like the Disney. I have like the Villains collection still. I don't even know if these are like any good or if they're dried up unfortunately. Um, you can usually, oh it's so pretty. Yeah it's like so hard but you can usually still work with them um, and even use like a setting powder to kind of bring them back to life a little bit too. That's so pretty. That paired up with this lip, like just over the eye, I'm inspired. Um, that one is Cursed. This one is Just Your Voice. Oh, I love this one. It's like a really blue purple duochrome effect. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Just wish they didn't like dry up so much. I do feel like if I ever got to a point where I wasn't going to use these on my face anymore, and I may still do this even if I don't use them on my eyes anymore. Um, but you see those like satisfying Instagram videos where they take like the paintbrush and they dip it in water and dip it into like the um, multi-chrome like paint colors and the like paint. I love painting. So I'm like, maybe I can do that with these <laughs> if I ever get to a point where I'm not going to use them on my eyes anymore. Um, I have this one, which is called Close to You. I think it was part of like a Valentine's collection or something, but it's a really pretty shiny pink. I actually used this quite a few times. Um, it's a beautiful, really light, like rose gold. Um, I also threw in this tub some of my liquid liners. I'm not really going to go through these because these are the ones that I think I decided just to keep. I don't really reach through them a whole lot. I think it's mainly like for Halloween looks and stuff like that where I really use this type of ordeal. Um, so I don't have many of them. I have cheaper options too. I do have the pretty vulgar one which I do like. These are all just kind of like gel eyeliners. Um, and they're all black for the most part, but this one is really nice. I probably wouldn't have bought it because, like I said, I don't really use them a whole lot. I just like using um, a pen eyeliner, you know, liquid eyeliner. Um, but this one's from Pretty Vulgar, like I mentioned. I got it in a boxy charm, so, I mean, I just kind of have it. But I don't really like to give away, even to family, like eye products, stuff that's like touched my eye. I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. But... I also have a black one from ColourPop, a brown one from ColourPop, just the basics, like I said, for like Halloween looks and stuff. Or if I'm ever like putting stuff around my eyes and I have to like hollow out my eyes, I like to use these type of products for then. Um, and then just a black one from e.l.f. Again, another like affordable option for Halloween looks and stu such. Um, I also have a couple of the Flower Beauty Pop Fanatic eyeshadows and you guys, I would wear these a lot more. I do really like them. They don't really set themselves, so that's kind of hard. You kind of have to set them with an eyeshadow that's close in color, so it's kind of like, why do I really want to use like a single shadow, you know? But I feel like I would reach for them more if they were shades that I actually liked. I have no idea. I can't even remember like why I got these two shades to begin with. I mean, the green's not bad. I feel like the green is still something that I would, you know, use. Just pair it up with maybe like a grungy or darker green. But like this yellow, I think I was just thinking because at the time I was so into like inner corner yellows. So I'm thinking maybe that's why. I don't know. Lemon and lime going on. But I don't know. I might still try to play with them. 
see what I can come up with them. I also have a highlighter in here from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I got this, I think, in a mystery box, and I was like, okay, this is like his $50 highlighter. It's the Supreme Frost in the shade Hypothermia, and it is so beautiful that I could not pass upon. I was like, obviously, I can't really use this on my face because I'm so pale, but it is just such, again, I'm swatching. It is like just such a pretty shade. The shifts to it, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it a little better there. The shift to it, though, it's just so pretty that I love using it like a single shadow on my lid. It's so, so pretty, but I know I'm like never going to get through that product, but it's just, and it's like a veil almost. It's not like super opaque and pigmented, but like a veil over like any shadow. It's so pretty. I can't get rid of it. Is these single shadows from Kylie Cosmetics. This was before the uh, rebrand of things and all the new products, so I don't even know if she's brought these back out or not. But this was from a summer collection. I don't even know what these are called. Shimmer Eye Glaze. I don't know if these have held up. Oh, yeah, they have. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Um, this is Aquamama. It was a part of, a, like I said, a summer collection, and I really like these. I feel like I don't really reach for the, the blue one a whole lot. I kind of wish it was just more blue because, like, it looks blue, but, like, once you apply it, there's so many, like, gold yellow specks to it that I feel like it necessarily, or it doesn't really necessarily look full on blue. I don't know. Maybe it was just the shadows I paired it with too. I had to clean up a little bit. Um, but the other one is Ocean Child and I wore this one all the time. I loved this, I was obsessed. So, so pretty. It's another just good universal metallic that works with so many shadows and you can just use it as like that center moment. I still really like these though. So for the most part, I'm gonna be pretty cutthroat uh, moving into the other two boxes because I just don't use hardly any of these. I have some that are actually trios and not even single shadows. I'm just going to go through them now as well. Um, I feel like I'm going to keep most, if not all, of my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows and Jelly Much because I know the formula. I really like the formula. Some of them I have to bring back to life a little bit. But the majority of the other stuff, I just kind of want to just purge, just get rid of. I'm not going to use it. Um, we'll see. There might be a few things here and there. And there's also like a few nostalgic pieces from like my teenage days that I still have held on to just for nostalgic purposes. I just need to find a different place to put them if I'm going to keep them. But sometimes it's kind of cool to like hold on to like the super old makeup, even though I'm never going to use it again on my actual face. Like it's cool to look back on it and see like what that product looked like then. But... Um, I am going to go ahead and declutter the City Colors. It is an eyeshadow trio in the shade Falling Leaves. Um, nothing wrong with these. I honestly can't even remember how they perform. Okay, I can't even open this. Um, it just kind of looks like that. There's a brown, there's a pink, a shimmer. It almost looks like a blush, bronze, or an highlight duo. Um, I have this one from Pacifica. I think I got this in like an Ipsy. It is Island Life. Oh, well, the little eyeshadow applicator just fell out but that's what it looks like again really pretty I think these were just like not super pigmented that was the only thing that I had an issue I think with those and like them wearing okay this one is really really cool but realistically I don't think I'm gonna reach for it a lot um, it's the book of eyes mannequin moves diary of a beauty junkie from Smith and Colt I love this because of the packaging it's like a mirror effect but it's like all dented and stuff and just bougie looking at the same time um, they really just tried to be different <laughs> while still having a lot of like the major things that a lot of brands have um, having just square pans and stuff but they try to like off center it but it also kind of throws off my OCD a little bit um, not bad colors or whatever and I'm sure like these aren't bad formula or whatever the case may be but I, I just have never re really reached for it, so it's going. I have a couple more from Pacifica. I have another trio. It's 
kind of like a bronze moment trio called uh, one of them's Skinny Dip, one of them's Crush, and one of them's Lovely. And then a single one here, which is just very copper. I don't know. Not even copper. It's called Treasure. There you go. That's a good, I guess that's a good, I don't know. It's still not, it's kind of dull is what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, this is from Absolute New York. A lot of these are just like bronze, like the single shadows that you really just get from an Ipsy or something like that and you don't really like ever reach for them or if you go to reach for them, there's so many of them that you don't really get through them. Um, this one is from Be A Bombshell Cosmetics, another Ipsy <laughs> item, um, Starstruck Eyeshadow. And it's a pretty purple, but I think it doesn't really have, I think this was the one that didn't have really have a whole lot of pigment. Um, this one from NYX is called Punk Heart. I think that's the shade. Another purple, like metallic. If I wasn't clear, I decluttered all of those. Um, I'm also going to declutter this really old Maybelline. This is going to be a nostalgic one that I'm just going to go ahead and pass on. Um, just toss it. It is a pretty shimmer green. I have this one from Veramona, which is kind of looks like a blush, peach. Um, ooh, there's a Smashbox one. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it away. One of my sisters would probably like it, but it, it's probably really good though. Um, and then this one is the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte Mattes to Go. I actually really enjoyed this palette. I did some blog looks with it and um, besides that though, I just feel like I just never reach for it. And again, one of my little sisters might like it, but BH Cosmetics is always just underrated. Um, this is from Mana Kadar. It is an eye candy priming shadow stick in the shade S'more. And I'm going to go ahead and pass on that too. A lot of these I just think my little sisters would have more fun with. I have this shimmer powder in the shade Relentance from uh, Mica Beauty Cosmetics. It's like a loose pigment. I'm not about that life. Trio from NYX, just a very neutral trio. It actually says Ipsy on it, so that was from Ipsy for sure. I'm going to declutter this J Cat's Beauty uh, shimmer. I actually think I remember liking this shadow too. It was a really pretty single metallic. This Pixie product I could never figure out. Um, it has like a really weird applicator. It's very strange and then it just doesn't really, it doesn't really do much. I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Um, it's called Fairy Dust Brightening Bear. It doesn't really do much. Um, and then another little shimmer moment or just loose pigment, Pretty Petal from Princess. I don't even know that brand. They're so cute. I think I gave my sisters a little blush trio from this brand. Uh, Jelly Pong Pong Napolitan Palette. It looks like that. And then these are actually really nice too. They're from City Color. They're single shadows and they're such good sizes too. And really pretty shades, but I just don't use them enough. Really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and declutter them as well. Now to some products that I'm going to go ahead and keep. I do want to keep some of my little, um, the balm. I love these little books so much. I have this one here that's like a little uh, shimmer luminizer. I have one of the Meet Matrimony, um, the Nude Dude and Flirty. I really like these two and I think I've decluttered all of my the balm like actual big palettes. I think I've decluttered all of those so I'm gonna keep my little minis. This is from Lauritzi. It's called Liquid Bl Beam and I think, I don't think I like this. I think it didn't really like dry down good. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. I'm gonna hold on to this Supernova shadow. It was from the Kathleen Lights ColourPop. Oh, maybe not. I think it's dried out. It's kind of dried out. I may be able to use it like a regular dry shadow, but it's kind of dried out. It's still really pretty though. Um, I have this single from Lancome, but honestly, I think I'm gonna declutter it. I just don't think, I feel like these are just the shades I have over and over in palettes and I'm just gonna reach for those. I have a couple more from Stila, sorry. A lot of these are dusty. You can tell I don't ever use them. Um, that are probably, Oh, that one's not dried out. 
this one is Kitten Karma. Yeah. Oh, the OG one that was raved about. And this one's Diamond Dust. And it is completely gone. We're going to throw that one away. But you can see the Kitten Karma one right there. Oh, so pretty. I'm keeping that one. I actually really liked this. Uh, this is just like a deluxe sample size from Touch and Soul. Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. So you would take off this end and it would... It's dried up. I'm going to have to throw it away. But it was like a liquid eyeshadow that you would put on and then you would take off this one and you would have like the glitter. So it almost acted like an eyeshadow base slash eyeshadow slash glitter glue and like hold the glitter in place. I actually really liked it, but it is dried out. So I'm going to toss it. This is called Visionary. It is, oh, from Mirabella. It's the Imagine long wearing eyeshadow. This was like a cushion eyeshadow. Yeah, it's like a cushion vibe. Doesn't really have like a whole lot of payoff still though. I think I might go ahead and declutter that. I have a magnetic eye color from Nude Stick. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this. Oh yeah, right here, that line right here. It's kind of hard to pick up, but it's like a, just like a gold. I'm going to keep that. I like Nude Stick. Oh, and I love this from Cover Effects. It is the Shimmer Veil. This is the shade Amethyst. It's so pretty right here. Woo! Just watching everything now. Okay, Zeke, I have Mini Shadow Crayon and Tonka Coffee. I actually am going to be filming a whole video with Trey Zeke products, so I'm going to keep that for that. Ooh, it's such a pretty brown. I'm going to actually keep this out. I really love the uh, caviar stick eye colors from Laura Mercier. So good. I need to keep this one out too so I actually use it more. Kind of swatch that in a weird position, but it's so pretty. These are really, really nice for like base, for like your base too, to like put shadows on. They're just rather a little expensive for me for a single shadow moment. Um, especially since I don't reach for them a whole lot. But I did get this little sample, and I do like it. Um, this is a Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. That is a mouthful. Um, I don't know. I might actually try this out because it kind of looks, like, really cool. That's a cool brown eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. I might try that out. Okay, another bend down. I do want to keep these two samples. This one is Natasha Denona. I don't want to get rid of that. Um, it is the shade Bronzage. And then Nomad. I love Nomad shadows too. This is the shade... I am... I don't want to pronounce that. I don't know if it'll focus, but right there. But it looks like that. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep these. Oh, I think I also want to keep my Kaja Beauty... Um, this was sent to me, I think, from, maybe it was Riley Rose Cosmetics. Um, they sent me, I think, some of their products. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I want to keep these. I actually forgot I had this. Going through your collection, you actually find stuff, and it feels like Christmas all over again. <laughs> now we're about to get into a lot of ColourPop, so I'm going to try to speed run the ColourPop, because I'll probably keep all of it. Um, first up, though, I'm going to declutter this Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It is a loose pigment, just white. I'm going to declutter that. Um, I might keep one, though. I might keep this Ulta one. It's called Yo YOLO. Um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like keeping one. I'm going to get rid of this in... I think it's supposed to be Inspire Single Shadow. I'll declutter that. All right, now ColourPop Speed Run. I have the Super Shock Shadow and Lace Muse. Central Perk, Hustle, So This Is Love, Hi-Ho, A Whole New World, Mittens Birthday Treat, this is for their five-year birthday, Almost There, which I freaking love this brown, it's so good, Bay, I actually wore this recently, Under the Sea, and I don't have the sticker on this one. Um, it never came with the sticker. It's just part of the Disney collection. I forgot what princess it was. Um, but yeah, it was part of one of that. And obviously, I used it quite a bit. 
Now for some Jelly Mutt shadows. I have the shade Bungalow, which is like this blue-green. From the Disney Villains, I have Perfectly Wretched, which is like a metallic silver. Doves and Roses, this is another one I think from the Valentines. It's like a pretty pink half moon, it's so pretty. It's like a grungy duochrome. From the Villain Spindle, Wee Jammin', which is another like white silvery moment, um, and Not Today. This is Hallucinogenous? Genius? Hallucinogenous, something like that. It's a really pretty purple, pearl, almost duochrome. Um, I Own You is this other Disney villain one. And I think that's all of my Disney color pop in general. Um, okay, last things. I have some um, loose pigments from Naked Cosmetics, and I actually want to keep these. They're really, really pretty. I think these are the only loose ones I will actually fool with. Um, I have the shade Desert Sunset and the shade Mother Nature, and they're both really, really pretty. And to wrap up this video, the last ones are just my little nostalgic ones that I just, I will never use these on my eyes, but I just want them for nostalgic purposes. I wore these all the time. I loved the Maybelline quads so much. I went through so many of this one. It's so messy and just nasty at this point, but oh my gosh, the memories. Um, I don't even know what this was called. It was their expert wear um, quad in the shade Sunlit Bronze. And I actually followed like the little instructions on the back. I was that type. <laughs> That is it. I feel like I made a really good dent in this though. I'm mainly just keeping ColourPop. I really love my ColourPop single shadows. I threw away a few things that were dried up and old and then I have this box here filled with everything I'm decluttering to my little sisters. All in all, I feel pretty good about it and I'm excited about the ones that I kept. I need to actually sit down now and go through some and keep some out for some upcoming, upcoming looks. Um, to keep myself motivated to play with single shadows more if I'm going to hold on to them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup collection slash declutter. It was probably a little rambly and long. Um, stay tuned for more. I keep touching my hands and I'm just a mess at this point. But let me know if you guys are a fan of single shadows or if you guys mainly just go to palettes as well. It's just so easy to just stick with palettes and know what the look that you're going to wear all from just one palette but yeah let me know do you use a lot of single shadows or do you mainly stick to palettes thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and i'll see you in my next video